Hey guys, this is Malinki. Welcome back to my channel, Voice of Malinki. Today we will talk about role of hormones in drive. And if you are new in my channel, please subscribe my channel. And if you like my video, please do like, comment and share my video. So this is an ethology lecture. Now hormones are chemical messengers secreted from endocrine glands of animals. The hormones and behavior are closely interlinked. Any type of desire directed by hormone is known as hormonal drive. There are different types of hormonal drives such as hunger and thirst drive, hoarding drive, migratory drive, aggression drive, territorial drive, sexual drive and parental care drive. So we will talk about them one by one. First is hunger and thirst drive. Certain hormones act on the hypothalamus and the hypothalamus is a part of our brain which in turn produces hormones that regulate hunger and thirst. The hunger and thirst drives depend on hours of deprivation of food. Next is hoarding drive. Hoarding in animal behavior is the storage of food in locations hidden from others. Hoarding is done either on a long term basis where food to be consumed months down the line or on a short term basis where food will be consumed over a period of one or several days. Some common animals such as rodents, hamsters and squirrels and many different bird species such as rooks and woodpeckers poses hoarding drive. Low estrogens and testosterone levels stimulate hoarding drive in mammals. Next is migratory drive. Migratory drive occurs in fishes and birds and may be seasonal or related to reproduction. In birds, prolactin, cortical steroids, thyroid hormones, gonadotrophins and gonadal steroids can all influence migration. Gonadal maturation which is controlled by different hormones causes the fishes to migrate long distance from sea to rivers or vice versa. That means from rivers to sea. Next is aggression drive. Hormones are also important in creating aggression. The male sex hormone testosterone is associated with increased aggression in animals. Hence, males are more aggressive than females. In females, high estrogen levels reduce aggression and make the female peaceful. That's why we all are peaceful, right? <laughs> Jokes apart. Next is territorial drive. Many vertebrates mark and defend their territory. Territorial behavior is also hormone dependent. Dogs and hyenas mark their territory by their own urine. Marsupials have anal glands which they rub on the ground to mark territory. Tigers and cheetahs spray the secretion from their anal glands on the trees to mark their territory. Next is sexual drive. Sexual drive involves courtship behavior such as singing and dancing in birds croaking in frogs and fighting in males of many vertebrates. Various hormones stimulate sexual desire in animals. Dopamine is involved in sexual motivation. Noradrenaline is involved in sexual arousal. Oxytocin and mel melanocotin are involved in sexual attraction. Vesopressin is also involved in the sexual behavior of some animals. Next is parental care drive. In vertebrates, hormones regulate maternal behavior. Pituitary hormone prolactin influence milk secretion. Multiple hormones such as estrogen, progesterone, oxytocin and prolactin contribute to the maintenance of maternal behaviors. So this is all about today's lecture. 
I hope you liked the lecture. If you want to get the PDF notes of this topic, please find the first pinned comment on the description box. Thank you.